Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and welcome back to another video. Today we have something quite special, I've never done one of these before. I was going to do some player reviews on some team of the seasons but I thought there's just going to be too many on the on YouTube basically so why not do something different. Now I noticed that team of the season Torre had very similar stats to legend uh, Rud Hullet basically so I thought why not do like a comparison video. I'm going to call it Rud Hullet vs team of the season Torre and we're going to look at these two players, see how they perform and compare them together you're going to see the in-game stats right at the end of the video first of all we're going to have a look at the team that we built which was basically a team with uh, Van Persie, Robin, uh, mainly BPL with a couple of other legends as well I think it's Rijkaard and um, Van der Sar in goal as well so that was the team we had I wanted to play them both in centre mid because I wanted it to be fair I didn't want to play one in cam and one in CDM because obviously that would be too biased um, but we've got here Rud Hullet going through and smashing the ball into the back of the net and uh, that is something that kind of Torre can do but I just feel he's a little bit too stiff and uh, there's a bit here where a free ball and this is like his only goal uh, that I actually managed to score with Torre and uh, it, was kind of, it could have been literally any player, uh, all he had to do was touch the ball and put it into the back of the net and for someone with such high ratings and such high shooting I found that his shooting wasn't really that OP. Um, I've played about 15 games in total now with uh, Team of the Season Torre because I used him for my expensive BPL team and also this team here and I just didn't really find him performing. Uh, as a CDM though, you know, he's very good because I used him in, in that kind of position before and he's very good. So now Rud Hullet, uh, they both, that's the other thing about this, uh, I didn't know what to do in this situation but they both have different work rates. One has medium high, one has high medium. Obviously uh, Rud hullet has got the more attacking work rates so he's going to be putting, going forwards a, a little bit more. Now here, Torre goes through breaks through and that's the kind of situation I'm talking about guys you know his shooting stats are incredible put two and a little bit well two and a half bars of power and he skies it and I was like you know what the hell um, obviously that, that, that can happen to any single player doesn't matter how uh, high rated they are but just little situations like that touch for someone of such high ball control and dribbling and you know stuff like that it's, it's um I was quite basically if you can if you can't tell already I was a little bit uh, not very impressed with uh, Team of the Season Tory. I mean, yeah, he's definitely an upgrade and definitely better than his normal card. But for a million coins, uh, I, I think he's not going to hold his worth very long. I think he's going to go down in price probably to about six or seven hundred k. But this is something Tory does um, excel in. That's just once he gets once he gets top speed up, um, he's very hard to push off the ball. But so is Rud Hullet. So it's really hard to really compare him. This is what I was talking about that touch again. I mean, I tried to face it back in to give him enough time to take a shot, but um, the goalkeeper picked it up way too quickly. Here, Rud it going through just another example of how easy uh, it is to actually uh, stop and dribble with him I found that little bit extra pace that extra free pace really did make a difference and also his balance and agility was a little bit better uh, which just made it easier to drive forward in these kind of situations um, so this is one of the last things I, I was really annoyed that didn't go in that last shot we're gonna move now on to the uh, stats of the game or stats of the players um, so let's move into the stats Alright, so as you can see, first of all, on the screen we have a Rud Hullet, Team of the Season Toure and Standard Toure, just for the sake of comparison. So let's talk about the price, something you can't actually see on the screen. Now, Rud Hullet goes for currently 3.7 million coins, Team of the Season Toure is starting to drop to just under 1 million coins, and Standard Toure goes for currently 90,000 coins. But his price has been spiked because Team of the Season has just come out, uh, he would normally be about 70 to 75,000 coins. Now, let's talk about, as you can see, Team of the Season Toure um, is the highest rated player. Uh, work rates wise there is quite a big difference because Torre is obviously the more defensive minded whereas Rud Hullet is more of the attacking minded on their card as well they both have very similar stats Rud Hullet being slightly quicker and slightly better uh, at passing apart from that Torre smokes Rud Hullet in defensive stats and heading now also another thing to note about Rud Hullet is he is slightly taller than Torre um, he also has four star skill which is obviously nice to have it means you can scoop turn and then you can just run you can just drive at your opponent basically now let's move on to the next page. I'm going to run through it real quick. If you can see, Torre's long shots are better. His long and short passing is also better, as well as his standing tackles and sliding tassel tackles, which are to be expected from Torre. He is that defensive player. Whereas Rud Hullet has beat Torre in crossing, curve, finishing, free kicks, penalties, and volleys. All of, the, all of those are attacking-minded attributes, but generally speaking, Rud Hullet seems a lot more consistent across the board. He doesn't have many up and down stats, apart from sliding tackles, which is kind of uh, to be expected. I, To be honest, I rarely use sliding tackles in FIFA, and at 77, it's still to be respectable. Now, let's move into the next page. Uh, this is going to be the physical side and the main difference uh, that separates these two players in my opinion. 
Now, as you can see on the screen, acceleration and sprint speed of Rudd Hullet wins hands down, especially on acceleration. He's more agile, he's better balanced, which is kind of what makes his uh, driving runs even harder to stop. Whereas Toure does beat Rudd Hullet in jumping only slightly, but as I said, Rudd Hullet is the taller player, so they both are equal in that respect. Toure does have more strength, aggression combined, so uh, he's much better at stealing the ball in a defensive manner, and uh, even normal Toure has better strength and aggression and interceptions as well. Now, if you remember from the previous stats, Toure does have better passing, but Rud Hullet beats Toure on vision, which kind of equals that out as well. Um, and that pretty much sums up the comparison of these two players. Now, my opinion from using both of them equally is Rud Hullet takes the win today. Um, if I wanted a CDM, I'd definitely take Toure over Rud Hullet, but if I wanted a centre mid, a cam, or even a centre forward, maybe even a striker, I'll definitely take Rud Hullet over Toure every single day of the week. So overall, there's not actually much in it. Toure was just a little bit too stiff for me. His shooting didn't live up to expectations, and he just didn't win me over, to be honest. Whereas Rud Hullet, on the other hand, is just an all-rounded beast player in pretty much every way, shape, and form. He wins practically every aerial duel. He can drive the ball from your defence across the pitch with ease, whereas Toure was just, yeah, just too stiff, basically, at changing direction. Didn't have the skill moves to actually help him out either now as i said there's not too much in it it's really down to what team you want to build and what role you want to fulfill ideally if you want to build a team with toure in cdm and rud hullet in cam then you've got it cracked that is the team to go for i hope you enjoyed this comparison video if you did make sure you drop a like on the video and if you have any other suggestions between two players that you'd like to see in a video just like this uh, make sure you drop them in the comment section below if you're new to my videos make sure you do subscribe to me ezekiel gaming hd for some tasty videos coming up soon on my channel thanks for watching guys i'll see you later bye